just taking some time to um, wait and let people filter in and then I get I don't know we'll do something and while we wait and hang out um, we'll talk about what we're doing to what I'm cooking tonight uh, what we're gonna have for supper um, this is from the box uh, from Dinnerly that I received on the 7th and I made the uh, gnocchi the other night and it was delicious I recommend it uh, one of the things that I found out that I love so much about Dinnerly versus say um, Blue Apron which is something that I've used previously um, is that um, they give you measurements of you know what you are receiving everything say in this box has a measurement it has an amount that and you know you can download PDF files with the exact recipe with amounts so you can reproduce these at home um, from stuff you find at the grocery store and they're readily easily available products for this meal you're gonna need some beef this is from Land and Sky grass-fed ground beef this is eight ounces uh, you'll need some roasted red peppers a russet potato a large one some mayonnaise some uh, your favorite cheddar I'll have to definitely give this four stars, however, because Cabot cheese is awful. It's disgusting and horrible. Sadly, I do not have um, a replacement. And my problem with it is, you know, several years ago, it was when I was living in Baltimore, I was making a grilled cheese sandwich, and we had Cabot cheddar. It didn't melt. It turned into this awful mess with just this puddle of grease on top of it. It was disgusting. Horrible. And, you know, I can make a grilled cheese sandwich, girl. Um, you'll need a garlic clove, a couple of your favorite kinds of buns that you like to eat with your burgers, and that's it. All of this stuff you can find at home. You can even make your roasted peppers at home. You don't even need a grill. You just uh, get a bell pepper. can be a, any color you want. doesn't really matter. Um, the red ones are just a little bit sweeter and a little bit more tender because they've been on the plant longer. But you can use green, you can use yellow and orange. It doesn't really matter. Um, so first you're gonna wanna preheat your oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. We will do roasted peppers another night. I'll do those for you at some point, promise. And that will Oh, I'm doing things with things. So many things. There's all of the things. Anyway, um, let's anyway, uh, so let's get started. I have the oven preheating to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And um, if it's a good day, I don't even have the heat on at the moment, which is good. That might help me. Uh, the smoke detector may go off because it's ridiculously sensitive. When this place was made and everything was arranged, that's the worst place to put it. It's in between the kitchen and the bathroom. And the bathroom has steam, shower, stuff like that. Anyway, um, let's get to it. I think the first thing we're making are the fries because that's going to take the longest to cook. Let's look at this recipe. Okay, prep ingredients. It says preheat oven to 450, which I did with oven rack in the lowest position. I've got that. Uh, peel and finely chop a teaspoon of garlic, which is over here. Box. I like my little box. It's handy. Uh, but since I don't peel and chop, I will peel and squish 
And this really isn't going to need a lot of help. Just pull that down here. I may have to turn on the fan. I don't know. It depends on if things are behaving or not. My kitchen is awful and I hate it. It's tiny. It's, you know, one of these, what my mom would call a one butt kitchen, meaning only one person can really fit in it and still, you know, have room to maneuver and cook and do the things that need to get done. So, and that's the truth. This is a very small kitchen. And that what you are hearing is my stool. I have a stool with wheels. Uh, it's easier for me to get around sometimes. Um, I'm very tired. My body is tired. My body started giving out on me while I was walking the dog today. So, you know, I'm just, I'm sitting and I'm relaxing and enjoying my cooking. Anyway, I'm crushing a clove of garlic into a, a small bowl. is staring. He's like, I have no idea what's going on. Um, add, pardon me, a teaspoon of oil. I've already washed the potato. Okay, so we don't have to do, do that. I've, I've prepped, you know, anything that required, you know, that kind of stuff. That was some corn oil because that's what I have at the moment. Yay. I'm just mixing that around, getting the garlic all up in there. Next it says add a pinch each of salt and pepper. My salt is over here in one of my nicky little um, doohickey. You know, I'm going to add some Old Bay because uh, I'm from Baltimore, you know, Maryland and stuff. And we like Old Bay on everything. Uh, I take recipes like a suggestion. My hips are killing me. Oh my gosh. It's been a day, guys. Mm, smells good. And I haven't even done anything. I'm just going to add a sprinkling. A sprinkling. It's only for... We're only cutting up and using one potato. It's just something special. Uh, if you've been cooking, you know, for as long as I have, I've been cooking since I was a small child. I was taught how to cook by my grandma and my, and my mama. Um, in the old bay, um, if you've ever known anyone in the Chesapeake Bay area, it's kind of like... Um, the pheromones of an area. It, you, we love it. And it's not seasoned salt. It does have salt in it, but it's different. And it's not Chesapeake Bay seasoning. It's specifically Old Bay. Mm. Made by McCormick. Good shit. Um, I have scrubbed the potato already, so that's fine. And now we're going to that into quarter inch wedges. I'm trying to decide, do I want to get out my cutting device? <laughs> I'm going to cut away this, this icky part right here. Yeah, that, it doesn't go deep. They're a little, just a little bruised, but you know, that can happen from store to home at your own place anyway. That's, I'm not counting that off. It's just, it's just ugly looking. That's all.
careful, guys. I'm going to put that in this little bowl behind me. I have this frying pan up here that I don't actually need at the moment. I'll need it in a, in a little bit for making the burgers. So I have one of those little like box cutter things. Um, that have the different blades. They have big squares, little squares, and slices. Kind of thick slices. But it's something that I use to help me do things. I forgot to add pepper, but I'll do that. Because... that bruise out. They're ugly. They don't really taste very good. Either. And now I'm going to toss. Mm. It says no need to peel, which is perfect because I don't like taking the skins off of the potatoes anyway. They're full of nutrition. I'm going to need my hands. Oh, that's going to hurt. I have like, I cut myself. I'm not flicking you off. I'm so sorry. But uh, this will be much easier. Just rub or trying to get as much of that garlic, salt, and I'll put some more pepper and salt on there too in just a moment. Uh, but the oil helps to cook and brown the potatoes evenly. It is a conductor of heat, so it gets the heat into the potato, into the food, um, easier. And it also lends flavor. Um, and as you can see, there's not a lot of oil on any of the potatoes. They're just shiny with the oil. It allows flavors to stick. I think it's important to cook at least with a little bit of oil. You can use heart healthy oils like butter. And, well, that's kind of up in the air with the whole keto diet thing. I will never tell you how you should eat. You have to decide that for yourself between you and your nutritionist or doctor and how your digestive system works. Mine doesn't work very well. Uh, so we'll go with that. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to put these my knife over here. I have no space to work ever. Anyway, um, oh, that's going to burn. I'm going to put some potatoes, make a single layer. Ooh, that's going to burn. It's going to be good, but it's going to burn. I'll have to check it. So supposedly 10 or 22 minutes. I'm going to put it in for like 10. I'll do this here in a little bit. I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'm going to do, oh, let's say 12 minutes and then I'll turn them. And then I'll do that for the rest of the, put them in for that other 10 minutes. Smells great. Okay. Oh, yeah, a little extra salt and pepper. A little bit of. Well, I used pepper in, in place of um, 
I used Old Bay in place of pepper. But I'm going to add just a little bit more. I don't like a lot of pepper. I can't handle a lot of spice. Just a little bit. A little crackling. A little extra salt as my dog stares on, trying to figure out what the hell I'm doing. Can you hear the salt? It's fabulous, isn't it? I love it. So anyway, how is everyone doing today? It was Saturday here in the US. I know, I think down under it's Sunday already. Um, anyway, so how are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a good day, that you didn't have too much snow. So I'm gonna put these in for about 12 minutes or so. And I'm gonna keep an eye on them. Oh. This is gonna suck. Ah! Hot. Um, Alexa, set a timer for 12 minutes. 12 minutes, starting now. I love her. I'm such a weirdo, it's great. Okay. Um, and baking sheet. What? Roast potatoes on the bottom oven rack until tender and browned in spots, about 22 minutes. Add garlic oil to rimmed baking sheet with baking, baked oven fries. Toast, return to oven and bake. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just going to flip them. I think that is an extra step that really doesn't need to be made. Um, I mean, you can, but, you know, to do that, That's going to take too much time out of the oven. They'll cool down too fast. It's not necessary. Um, there's a lot of flavor in there, especially that I old added the Old Bay. So anyway, um, while the potatoes bake, it says on step number three, finally chopped the cheese. Do you chop cheese? I'm reading these recipes for the first time, just like you will. And... Then I'll have puzzled expressions like, uh, there's an easier and better way to do that. And if there is, I'll teach you. I'm not going to leave you hanging. If you guys have any questions about cooking stuff or what I'm doing. See? It's like rubbery. I don't even know if it's real cheese. Let me look at these ingredients. Fresh pasteurized milk, cheese cultures, salt... Enzymes contains no animal rennet. Eh. I don't know. I took out my grater thinking that it might grate. I don't think that it will. It might. Let's try it. Uh, put it over here. Maybe. If I'm gentle. Be gentle with me. I'm fragile. Eh, it's alright. I'm going to look at the chat so I can see you guys. I can see what I'm doing. I hope everyone can hear me okay. Don't be afraid to say things. I love to talk to you. Ask questions. Um, and if I don't know it, I will probably either look it up or make a video addressing it um, at some point. But I've been, been cooking for a long time. I'm not a professional by any means. I'm just a home cook. Cook at home for me. My animals are my family. They've already been fed. See, it just breaks the pot. I don't know what to do. I'm concerned. Because I read that the pimento cheese is the cheddar plus 
I'm just making like the full deal so I'll have the leftovers for tomorrow D night for dinner so I don't have to cook uh, the recipe is for one burger except for the whole potato thing I'm like per 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 burger it's like half of the roasted red pepper thing one bun half of the mayonnaise half of the chunk of cheese Ugh. be careful when you do this guys I'm gonna chop off my fingers or grate my fingers can you grate off fingers probably can well it did it did okay um Hopefully they've improved their cheese. Doesn't even really have it. It has no smell. Cheddar is, you know, a milder cheese, but you know I would like it for to have something that resembles a fragrance. Just look at my Twitch stuff real quick. Yay. Uh, channel. Dashboard. Live. It's quiet. Too quiet. Okay. I just wanted to look at things. Because... What I'm seeing on my OBS thing, it has a new feature where I can see the chat room while I'm at it. <laughs> but it doesn't show me who's there. Well, I probably could, but I'm not paying attention to it because I'm trying to cook my dinner. All right. Um, and a small bowl. And a small bowl right behind the mic in the cabinet. Hey, <laughs> hey. Oh. Um, if you wanted a tip, if you have cutting boards that keep sliding around, uh, get yourself a moist, I know, moist, sorry guys, um, cloth. I prefer like a washcloth or something. Paper towels can ball up and get weird after a while. And if it's, you know, a bigger recipe and you're going to be using the board to eat a lot, just use a cloth, moisten it, make it damp. Um, you know, and, and do the things and it won't slide around on you. So you're not going to cut your fingers off that way. I don't want you to get hurt. Let me know how you are, what you're doing. Um, let's see. Finally chop half of the, it says save the rest for your own use. Screw that. I'm putting, shove, chucking the whole thing in because that's how I roll. We do it all to excess because this is what we do in my house. Also, I like flavor and textures and things. All right. I mean, it's just like a little smidgerin of a pepper, you know? Is that a thing? I don't know. Can you even see what I'm doing? Okay. I'm sorry guys, I am right handed and trying to cut something when, and my stove is on my left side and the camera thing never mind it's 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 its own thing and i can't not something i can really move because the refrigerator is on the right side yeah. i have a sink behind me and over then there's a 
um, over the sink cutting board and then using that as extra counter space. One day I will show you the hell that is my kitchen. This is a little bit different than Hell's Kitchen. This is just kitchen that is kind of hellish for people who actually like to cook, and I do. So anyway, I'm going to put the roasted red peppers in here and then go to the next thing. Feel free to chat, say things, talk, ask questions. Tell me about you. Tell me about, it looks like bloody Sunday on my freaking cutting board. Which means I've been cooking, so it's fantastic. Let's see. And then, let's see, combined chopped cheese, roasted red peppers, and mayo. I don't know if this is any good. Has anyone tried the Sir Ken Kensington's brand of mayonnaise? Sunflower oil, egg yolks, water, organic lemon juice, distilled vinegar, salt, fair trade organic cane must cane sugar, mustard, flour, why, and black pepper and citric acid. You don't put flour in mayo. I'm concerned. Should I be concerned? Should I use, I have regular old Hellman's in the fridge. And this is just soybean oil, which is a lesser, whatever, water, whole eggs, egg yolks, still vinegar, salt, sugar, lemon juice, Calcium, the sodium used to protect quality and natural flavors, but it doesn't have any flour. So. I don't know, kiddos. I don't know. What can I do? I'll just use this and call it good. Put some mayonnaise. I don't even put mayonnaise on my burger. I think that's just weird. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of mayonnaise. I'm very particular. I only just recently started kind of mildly tolerating mayonnaise so anyway it smells okay i'm concerned at things oh i have little under the sink over the door trash bin things they're so nice i moved all of my cleaning stuff over to my hutch i'll tour you to my kit tour you my kitchen at some point uh, let me know if that's something you're interested in. Uh, season with salt and pepper. Mm. Mayonnaise. Love these things so much. Um, I think I'm going to add, as I break things, uh, some Old Bay instead of pepper because it will mirror, it'll bring in the flavor of Alexa Stop. It'll bring in the flavor that I added to the Divide ground beef into two equal portions. Do not shape into patties. Heat one tablespoon of oil in a medium heavy skillet. I have a pan. It's fine. Um, over medium high, add buns to skillet. Cut side down. I don't have that big of a skillet, so we're going to have to wait. I don't really toast my buns anyhow, so I'm not going to do that. Uh, transfer to plates. Place beef in skillet and smash each mound flat with a spatulator. Uh, five inch patties seasonal why not I'm confused well I'm not confused it just <clears throat> whatever I know how to make burgers uh, if you don't know how to make burgers let me know and I will this is this is concerning hold on um shiznit oh the fries smell great let me show you let me show you how it's done and if you feel like you're a little drunk by watching the mic, the thing fling around, I'm sorry. Get something to get a an alcoholic beverage if you are of age, and you'll be just fine. So now I'm gonna 
flip these. Oh, stop it. This is my flipping hand. Uh, these are going to be so good. Can you see the brownness? Oh, I have uh, what's called a silicone mat for a baking sheet, so that's why I didn't put any extra oil on the pan. This, I, I bake a lot, and so this prevents things from sticking, and it's great for things like this as well, so you don't have to add that extra oil in those extra calories. I mean, you still can, and I love them. They're very easily washable. You can put them in the dishwashing device. You can wash them by hand. I love them. I have one for each of my pans. I make a lot of shortbread. Uh, let me know if you want me to do shortbread and show you how I make mine. Um, it's interesting. I got the recipe. It's my favorite recipe from a cookbook my grandma gave me when she passed away. It's fifty year, It's from the 1950s. And I love baking out of that. That's the book she taught me how to cook out of. And I still love it. Because those recipes are tried and true and delicious. Um, it's a Betty Crocker cookbook. Anyway, I'm going to put this back in for about 10 minutes or so. Uh, Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, starting now. Yeah. All right. Okay. We're going to medium-ish high. I'm going to do it like on a four. All right. Um, I will mix those up in a minute. Um, I'm going to do this, open this package over my sink because, ew, blood and stuff. I don't want this all over my kitchen. Uh, very pork. I'm discombobulated, can you tell? Uh, yeah. And then, what, like, just, I need people with hands that have strength and stuff. I'll just cut it open. a meat eater? Who out there is a vegetarian? A vegan? I don't judge. I've done it all at one time or another for various reasons. I don't eat a lot of beef. Doesn't always agree with me. Anyway, uh, my thing. Gross. All right. Beef. Do it. Half, halfies, halfsies. Ew. Help. Okay, thereabouts. Uh, I don't know why you wouldn't form it while you know before you put it into the pan. It doesn't make any sense to me. I need to know if it's gonna. This is grass fed. It's not like. I don't know. I'm just. I press and then I push my thumb in and it makes a nicer shaped burger, I guess, a little bit rounder. It's not like I'm trying to make it perfect. You know, I prefer a hand formed piece of, you know, hand formed burger anyway, but it's just, you know, easier to deal with something that's a little bit more uniform in shape and thickness. And that's how I make my burgers. That's a good size, yes? And it, mine's a non-stick and there's fat in here, so I'm not going to need to put any oil in it. I don't have a skillet. skillet. No, I have a cast iron skillet. Too heavy. Can't hold them. So anyway, put this in my pan, just like so. And I'm going to form the other one and throw that in there too in just a minute. And then I'm going to wash my hands and put salt and pepper on it. Can you hear the sizzling? Oh, shut up. Butting into my shell. 
silly oven. I've always I've been considering getting a flat top thing, flat top stove. Does anyone out there have a flat top stove? What do you think about it? Is it would it be worth to change? I mean, this came with this is like Home Depot. Um, uh, contractor on sale special so it's not the best and I'm not trying to have the best I can't afford the best at the moment um, just you know something a little bit better than this that heats better I mean it's not too bad it does its job and the oven is nice and it heats evenly but anyway uh, burger numero dos and now I'm going to wash my disgusting hands watch the burgers while I clean myself Oh. What do you have to do on Sunday? What kind of chores do you have to do? Do you have to run errands and um, you know, walk your dogs, take the kids to play group? Let me know what you guys need to do this weekend. Tomorrow. This is one of, one of the few times I use antibacterial soap is in the kitchen, especially when I'm uh, cooking raw meat. Right. Not to cut anything else, so I put the thing, the cutting board device. cleaning up a little bit guys and it's moist so I'm just gonna you know, wipe things down a little bit make it a little neater I have this really great silicone trivet that I got at some kitchen store here in town. Um, I love it. It's fantastic. It's really lightweight. You can put it in the dishwasher. You can put it on any surface. You know, protects the crappy, horrible, terrible laminated countertops that I have. You can put hot containers, pans, whatever on the things. Now, salt and pepper these babies. What do you think? Doesn't they look good? Salt going. Alexa, how much longer is on the timer? Well, I'm only going to make one of these burgers because, well, it's just me. I will keep this bun in the package and put it back in the fridge for tomorrow. set that you love. I have one plate set, but I love it. I picked it out. I'm not really a huge fan of the toasting department. So anyway, uh, I'm going to mix this up. The pimento stuff. For the Red peppers and cheese in the mayo. And that's supposed to be your topping. And then you can put other toppings and stuff on it. I'm one of the people, I, I love ketchup and I love mustard, so. Yes, the red-headed stepchild of condiments, ketchup. Too bad. Oh, check on my Twitch. Woo. 
nobody's chatting. You should chat. It's interestingly weird over here. I'm talking to myself. My dog thinks I've gone insane, and I have, and that's fine. But, you know, does my dog really need to think that at this time? Is that really the smartest move? Like I said, I didn't need that big bowl. Um, the recipe after this that I will be doing on Monday is... Uh, it is seared chicken and broccoli with mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm excited about that. Um, I already made some chicken gravy a couple nights ago, so I might use that, but we'll see. Um, I might change up the mashed potato thing, too. I don't know how they're going to do it. They don't have butter and milk in the recipe. I, guess. I don't know. I haven't looked at the recipe yet, but I'll see how that is. Let's see what the phone says. Nothing. Nothing important. Nope. Whatever. Alright. We're going to Alexa Soft. Alright. Uh, take the fries out of the oven. And then, oh, they look good. And I'll show you what they look like in just a second. I need to turn this off. I need to flip the burgers. I like mine a bit on the rare to medium rare side. Eh, not what I meant to do, but okay. I'm going to have to clean my freaking... No! Do not make a mess! I just cleaned this soap. Thank you. And this is why I didn't add any oil to the pan. Because I saw the amount of fat, I mean, which is a good thing, in the burgers. But, um... It would just be too much and make them super greasy. I'm not into that. Uh, salt over here. This side. Ugh, there are oily, oily, oil dots on my stove. Just cleaned it. Ugh. The dangers of cooking, right? Am I right? Am I right? I hope you're having a good time and you're enjoying these uh, things. I am. I'm going to put like half of this onto my bun. On the top. So it'll hit the... I'm just... Um, so it'll hit the delightfully hot meatiness, and I will put some wrap on this, or put this in a smaller container and in the fridge, but I'll do that in a little bit. And you know what? I'm going to be an asshole and put ketchup on my burger on the bottom, just a little bit. Moose tard. Uh, while we're waiting for the burgers to finish, I'm actually going to turn off the heat now. Let them just cook in the pan with the residual heat that's left because I don't want them to burn. I have a small plate over here. That I'm going to put the extra patty over here. Uh, that I'm going to put the extra patty on so I can wrap it and put it in the fridge. I'll put it into a, one of my glass containers uh, so I can eat it tomorrow. I love leftovers. My mom had a friend who hated leftovers. I'm like, if that guy, uh, if your coworker ever came to my house, they would freaking starve. 
I will make, you know, soup or chili or stew or like a casserole of some type or lasagna, a big dish, multi-serving dish or recipe, and I'll have that all week long. You know, I'll make sandwiches for lunch and I'll have an egg and a piece of toast for dinner or breakfast and some coffee. And, uh, yeah. If you don't like, um, whatchamacallit, uh, leftovers, you'll start here. And that's the truth. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. It says, it's said to press the burgers and make them flat, but I'm just, it presses out all the juice. So, anyway, I'm going to let these sit right here on the plate. Actually, well, I'm going to take this one and put this on the bun. Let the, the cheese supposedly melt. I don't know. It's Cabot, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Let that melt a little bit. Put the underside on. Press it just a little bit. Turn it over. And then we're going to put some fries. I'm going to uh, make some broccoli or something to go with this for dinner time uh, in a little bit after I let you guys go. Broccoli. And uh, yeah, there's that. Now, I don't want to cut this open because they're burger because it will like all over the place. But I will, because I want you to see inside, because that's what they do on cooking shows, right? Downside. Issues. Probably need to sharpen my knife, but also slippery. Let's open this up. A nice close up of that burger. Look at that. That looks so good. Look at those fries, too. I don't know about you, but I love oven fries. I love them. It's, ooh, this is perfect, too. <laughs> Shall we try it, my darlings? Shall we? The cheese actually melted. It tastes really good. Um, and I'm glad I didn't overdo it with the ketchup. It's just down on the bottom. It's that tanginess that'll bring the other flavors up. But that's good. That's good. Mm. I don't know if I would make it again per se. It's not really my thing. 
I might. I don't know. I don't know. The potatoes are hot. The taters are hot. I'm going to burn myself. Mmm. Perfect. The potatoes are creamy on the inside, slightly crispy on the outside. That's tasty. That's a good meal. Anyway. Thanks so much for joining me. I will see you Monday. And um, you can find me on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, and Twitter. And uh, let me know. Contact me. DMs, whatever, instant messages. And let me know what kind of recipes that you're interested in seeing me cook for you. Um, we might do some afternoon types of things. We can do uh, desserts. Uh, vegetable dishes, appetizers. Um, I have a really fun appetizer that I might do this summer. <laughs> it's really easy too. There's like three ingredients. So good. So easy. Um, I had a friend say they wanted to try to do like a yeast bread. Um, they're having, he's having issues with doing cinnamon rolls. So maybe we'll try to do a, cin a cinnamon roll uh, at some point. I don't know. I tried to make them once. It failed miserably. It was delicious, but it failed. Um, they're really hard to do at home. My kitchen is warm. It doesn't stay nice and cool, so. I don't know. I'll look at it. Um, so yeah, contact me, follow me, do all of the things, um, and I will see you guys later on. Let me know what you want to see and what you want to taste. And I will see you guys again on Monday for the uh, chicken and broccoli and mashed potato night on Monday. Have a great weekend and I will see you next time. Bye everybody. Now, get off the computer, go eat. <laughs>